Hey folks, so I recently finished two um, very tenderly written novels that placed a strong emphasis on the relationship between children and parents, specifically young boys and their fathers. Uh, when I finished George Saunders' Lincoln in the Bardo about a month ago, uh, I was left utterly floored by not only the inventiveness of the form and narrative, uh, but the visceral emotional reaction I had. Uh, it tells a beautif beautifully engaging and funny story uh, of the worst possible thing that could happen, uh, at least in my world, which is the unexpected and sudden loss of a child. It's one of the very best books uh, I've read this year and will have, um, will have a lasting impact on me as I urge it upon my friends, colleagues, and family. Uh, I have since um, read my first Richard Powers novel, Bewilderment, which is different from Lincoln and the Bardo, no doubt, in terms of, uh, among other things, enjoyment, structure, and accessibility. Still a good book nonetheless, but um, the narration from the father's point of view in that book was very, very effective. Um, there are many heartfelt sentiments, serene moments of paternal love, uh, and achingly powerful scenes. Uh, that kept me reading quite quickly and quite often. But I don't intend to compare these two books, uh, but rather right now just illustrate how their combined themes, conflicts and ideas resonated very powerfully within me uh, and continue to do so as I live my life each day as a father, husband, son and teacher. So this paternal fiction I've recently been reading is really my jam. I think uh, another 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 title from this year that holds a place in my top 10 is The Unbearable Lightness of Being by Milan Kundera. Uh, while not being focused on fatherhood, for me really relates to the monumental and what I believe to be sacred task of raising children. The idea of life's inherent bittersweet precariousness uh, coupled with the day-to-day -day combinations of anxiety, joy, fear, and pride that I experience watching my kids navigate the world it gives me great inner strife sometimes. Uh, I'm a worrier by nature, yet I do find comfort and, and, and solace through prayer, uh, and I can firmly and confidently consider myself a blessed person. Uh, and so I also find that my reading life, which has been accelerated dramatically, uh, this last year provides me not with distraction from uh, not with distraction because that's often cited as a reason for reading right but but rather it provides me with almost like a reflection of my deepest sense of being um, the books the books I've read have enhanced my consciousness scrambled neurons and created new ones intruded delightfully on daily thoughts uh, created an almost giddy type of wonder and awe at the cognitive capabilities of, of we humans. It also sparked communication between strangers that have since grown into, I believe, genuine friendships and connection. Um, and it's a daily reading habit that, that makes getting out of bed each day not less shitty, but rather full of possibility. All right, so thinking about um, this paternal fiction I connect with, I guess, and my little kiddos. I'm thinking about how often I write, and I don't write very often. Uh, I thought about it, I think about it quite a bit. Uh, I gave it an honest try, probably about a decade or more ago, a little bit, and uh, it didn't go very well. I don't know that it's for me, um, but that's okay. Um, no, I, I, do, I do some stuff here and there. I do, you know, um, I have creative outlets. So I've done some, uh, and I just wanted to share now um, really the only thing I've shown anyone um, that I've written down and, and created myself. So I just call this one Little Miracles. And when I think about my kid, this is the finished product of this poem. I don't even know if it's a poem, but anyway, here we go. Son, who I'd die for. It doesn't work like that. Now watch closely. Slow down and take time to consider. Little girl who fills my heart. Stop fussing and fretting, now sit here a moment. Don't wander or worry, just let me look at you. Copy, pasted eternal in my soul's eyes. Your smile is a miracle altogether, and your heart a world treasure. It's your joyful purity filling my being. 
as an exquisite cure from worldly distress and disquiet, refuge from future foreboding and preserved past. As time reveals itself in you, gifts from God, my wary hopefulness is all-consuming, for I need your happiness more than anything imaginable. Your beginnings marked my serene promise and privilege, that is, my immutable love for you, as true as existence itself. My heart aches and swells for your innocent beauty, and you simply must know, if I'm gone within a fragile instant, that my love for you is greater than any moment life can present, and I will rest knowing eternally you are mine and blissful togetherness. So thanks for watching, you guys. Um, please drop a comment, particularly if you've got a recommendation for a good paternal fiction type of book. Um, relationships between fathers and sons, fathers and daughters, mothers and sons, mothers and daughters, for that matter. Um, or, or any or any comment. I always enjoy connecting. Uh, hope you're doing well. And uh, please take care of yourself. Happy reading. Bye for now.